大家好，欢迎来到御花园。御花园将不定期向朋友们展示我家园子里的美花美景，交流种花种豆的心得，互通各种花枝小苗。欢迎留言，谢谢观看。今天我分享一个有关肥料的视频：鸡粪、马粪、牛粪、羊粪，哪个最好？答案就在视频里。我爱花，但真正到热爱是到澳洲才开始的，因为这边有更多的时机会和空间让我发挥想象力。近近几年时间多了，常常找有关种花、种菜的书和节目来看。澳洲 ABC 有档节目叫《澳洲花园》，每周晚七点或者七点半播出。喜欢园艺的朋友千万不要错过它。自从看了 ABC 这这档节目后，我就成了他们的铁粉，每期必看。春天来了，大家都在自家的园子忙了起来。俗话说，要想庄稼好，需上肥料找。今天我们就上传一个 A、B、C 有关肥料的节目。从这个节目中，我学习了很多东西，知道了什么是热肥、冷肥，也学会了如何使用各种农家肥。简单的说，农家肥可以分两种类型：热肥和冷肥。热肥的营养水平相对来讲比较高。来自于家禽，比如鸡、鸭、鹅、鸽子、猪和马。专家说，对待热肥，应该像对待好酒一样对待它，应该是时间越长越好。冷肥一般是指营养水平相对来讲比较低的肥，比如牛和绵羊肥。A、B、C 这档有关肥料的节目，非常全面地讲解了各种农家肥的性质及使用方法。我加上了中文字幕，方便大家学习。欢迎收看，谢谢。Hot manures are higher in nutrient, and if used fresh in the garden, can burn your plants. And instead of encouraging growth, they can actually stunt. Or even kill your seedlings. Hot manures include chook manure, which is high in nitrogen, making it a great addition to gardens that are growing lots of leafy greens. Or you can use it as a top dressing on your lawn. It can contain a bit of phosphorus, so steer clear of this one when you're growing phosphorus-sensitive plants, like members of the Proteaceae family, such as Banksia. Another hot manure is horse manure. Now it doesn't have the nitrogen of the chook, and it doesn't really contain much in the way of potassium and phosphorus, but it is a great soil improver and gives that little bit of oomph to your ornamental or your veggie beds. Other hot manures include pig and bird manures like geese, ducks, and pigeons. I've been handling aged chook manure, but a good tip when handling the fresh stuff, whether it be any poultry or even pig. Is to use a mask and gloves because they can contain infectious bacteria, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Cold manures are called cold because they're lower in nutrients than their hot cousins. Starting with the classic cow, this is a great soil conditioner, adding organic matter and structure to your garden soil. Cows eat grass, so their manure. Tends to be low in nutrients, so they're a natural for native gardens, and they're really good to add on veggies that don't need a lot of feed, like onions, carrots, parsnips, and beetroot. Then there's sheep poo. If ever there was a contender for the best poo in the world, it may be this one. It's a great soil improver and conditioner, and it's always got quite a bit of potassium present in it. Which means that it will strengthen the cell walls of your plants, making them tougher. If you've got fruit and flowers growing in your garden, then this poo is for you. Other cold manures include llama, alpaca, and goat. Like the other cold manures, these are very low in nutrient, but are fantastic for improving and building up your soil. 
Manures that should not be used in the garden are things like cat and dog because they contain harmful bacteria and pathogens. This goes for all carnivorous or omnivorous animals, like humans or pigs. However, if you do get your hands on some pig manure, keep it away from the edible garden and always make sure that you compost it well before use. All manures need to be well aged before you can put them in the garden. The longer you can do this for, the better. But the minimum is about three to six months. It's especially true of this stuff, chook manure, which when put down fresh, contains a lot of ammonia, which can and will burn your plants. Horse, cow and sheep manures bought fresh from the side of the road can also contain weed seeds. Aging will help to kill these so they don't spread through your garden. Aging also helps to dissipate any antibiotics or worming treatments that might be in the poo, preventing any negative knock-on effects to soil organisms. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can age your manure, whether it be hot or cold. Now, you all might be familiar with this, a bag of poo picked up from the side of the road. You can age them in the bag, but the problem is, is they get very wet at the base. So to solve that, all you've got to do is stab the bottom with your secchies and allow that water to drain out. Alternatively, you can pour them out, cover them with a tarp and leave them to sit. The other method is composting, piling up the manure with layers of carbon-rich materials, keeping moist and aerated until it's black, crumbly and ready to use. If you don't have access to fresh farm manure or homemade chook poo, you're probably looking at purchasing bags like this. These products are generally well aged, although it's a good idea to always read the label. If it smells fresh, all you've got to do is pop it in the compost bin for a while. Of course, you can be adding manure whenever you're preparing a bed. But how about next time, make a manure tea? All you need is a permeable bag. This is hessian, but you can use shade cloth as well. Fill it with a bit of poo and then tie it at the top. And you've made yourself a manure tea bag. Submerge it in a bucket of water for a few hours. Then you have to dilute it with some more water until it's the colour of wheat tea and add it to your pots and plants. Now, don't forget to always wash any edible plants before eating them, if it's been in contact with the tea or manures in general. Whatever you're trying to grow, there's a manure that's well suited to the job because at the end of the day, there's not much that poo can't do for you in your garden.